a lot of Pikachu Ditto. They must have been very patient. I don't think I've ever had a Pikachu Ditto go to time. <laughs> uh, I've probably played thousands. Yeah, it's so, usually Pika Kirby or like yeah, Pika, Pika Kirby. You know, you can you can see. Yeah, those those characters reach like a kind of stalemate more often. But anyway, getting into the set here. Yeah, Isaiah. He's already taken out one of the brothers. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> gonna gonna fight the other one here. Stranded. Friend, it's Yoshi always an unpredictable force. Uh, I feel that he he definitely does a lot of things that maybe aren't optimal, but they're also not predictable. And he's one of those players that can just kind of explode and delete stocks. But also he's capable of some very patient neutral, as we see here, looking for an opening and not being too antsy, but also like using his double jump of Watt. Yeah, he's incredibly fast and just moves around the stage constantly, but he's not as vulnerable as you might think. He's able to parry out of it and use that double jump defensively out of it in such a way that it makes it really difficult to attack him. And these hitboxes, especially Yoshi's nair and back air hitboxes, they're just so big that it's hard to beat them, even if you know where he's throwing them out. Yeah. Stranded did manage to get the first touch uh, of the game on Isaiah there, but it was just a weak neutral error and didn't net anything for him. Isaiah, meanwhile, building up a big percent lead right now. Yeah, trying to pin Stranded in the corner here. Yeah, definitely hasn't found any substantial punishes, but it's just sort of slowly chipping away at that Yoshi. Yeah, nice up air there he found on the side Both platform. of them are just playing the side flat right now. It seems like Isaiah is feeling oh my, extremely, uh, what is happening? <laughs> extremely patient at this tournament. Yeah. And uh, Stranded, I guess, saying, look, if you're just going to stand still, I, I can stand still too, you know? Yeah, that almost turned into one of those, like, I'm here to make a point situations, it felt like. Yeah, Stranded kind of cracking a smile. And Trot yeah. almost gets the grab. Look at that Both these guys so quick to escape. Stranded using that parry and jump. And then uh, Isaiah using the up B to escape. Stranded is being so non-committal right now. He's really matching the tempo that Isaiah is establishing. Yeah, Which, I mean, we've seen matches like this before from Stranded, like uh, that set against Wangara all those years ago, where he played a very patient but fast Falcon. Oh, the Falcon Puff matchup. Yeah, that's yeah. a great uh, a great VOD. If you haven't seen it, highly recommend. Oh. And Isaiah finds yeah. that slow fall down air. Great Stranded. DI, though. Stranded so ready for that back air. Even he though it broke the armor, that's not sufficient right. to kill him. Yeah, it's that, that very beginning of the armor break window where Yoshi is, it's almost like he still has armor because he just takes like no stun. And we're up to five minutes here and the first stock is yet to be taken. Stranded. He finds the up tilt wow. into the down B, that was, stranded. That was a really tough call to make there for Stranded because it, it was very possible for Isaiah to land on the top platform after that up tilt. Yeah, it's so annoying when you up tilt someone as Yoshi or really any character and they land on the top platform and yeah. deny your punish. Isaiah finding the back air, gonna get Stranded deep off the stage at 147. Should be an easy edge guard. That spike is not gonna be enough. Just some more damage for Stranded. Yeah, it does get Finally, the trade. Both players taking their first stock of the match. Four minutes, 50 on the clock. Oh, oh the DI! Yeah, Isaiah DI is just a little bit too far, and that can be the risk. Isaiah now down a stock here, chasing Stranded around, completely changing the tempo. Chasing Stranded around the stage. And oh, Stranded have a jump, oh, yeah. that pivot up tilt. What a play from Isaiah. The perfect response to that situation. Isaiah is on a tear through these stocks right now. What is going on? We there was like no action for three whole minutes and now they're just swinging at each other. Isaiah, All switching right. the tempo back again. Yeah, we're willing to play safe. Down. When he doesn't have that invincibility, oh, when Yoshi's at low percent, you have to be careful. He didn't have the window there. After the backer, Isaiah was able to just neutral air out of that. Stranded gets away, resets the position. Isaiah back on that side platform. Stranded is really trying to work his way in with these double jumps and just mixing up how he approaches, but Isaiah is always just outside of that range. Sort of dancing around each other, but... Yeah, and Isaiah plays in that scary style where he's willing to be defensive, 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 until he gets a single opening and then he's yeah. all over you. And that style that we've seen earlier in the tournament too, I was talking about it in D3, it's just so hard to deal with when someone plays like that. But Stranded though, doing an amazing job so far in this game of positioning himself in a way where Isaiah can't get a big opening. They're just kind of poking and fighting for scraps. It's true, yeah. We saw that big pivot up tilt punish from Isaiah, but other than that, 
big error from Stranded as he lands on the top platform. Meant to get up to it, but the Z cancel didn't quite come through, and he dies for it. Yeah, weird recovery there. He kind of goes high, does an aerial, and then tries to fade the ledge. But off the respawn, he is going to get a fastball forward air and get a kill. Yeah, and he could have done the down B again there, but didn't even need to. The upper kill percent was online, and now it's a last stock game. The Stranded is willing to give up his double jump when he's recovering. Using that down air there or the nair. You can look at just how fast Stranded's movement is. And Stranded playing very safe. This is yeah. not the Stranded you see in friendlies. This yeah, is tournament the Stranded. That's the first time in a bit. He's really been sticking to those platforms. Doesn't want Yoshi to get a big punish started. Yeah, it looks like Isaiah's really looking to find a fair. Yeah. Isaiah's really a firm believer opening. in uh, holding an aerial position because he feels that the opponent can't get as strong of a punish if they get an opening like on a platform or up in the sky, especially here at 0%. Yeah, it can be difficult even for a character like Yoshi if the movie hits isn't the ideal one. Like if he pokes with an up air, it can be hard to confirm off that. Yeah. Even for a player with combos as good as Stranded. This has got to be so tense though. You know a player like Stranded, if he finds that meaningful hit in neutral to open Isaiah up, can really just destroy that stock. It's Yoshi too. I mean, we know Yoshi is one of the strongest punishing characters in the whole cast. Yeah, you cannot. See, it's dangerous here letting Yoshi get above him. Isaiah immediately goes back to try to establish control over that top platform. And he messes up, ends up on the ground. This is a tech chase situation. Great DI there from Isaiah. Yeah. All the stranded way with an incredibly dangerous He's nair not on able the stage. To adjust. Okay, we're back into neutral. Stranded has the lead though. Nice the parry there, up B. tilt. Oh. He perfect lands into an up air, not he quite the enough up smash, to kill. Maybe. No, I don't think, I think he realized he was too far away to up smash, Perhaps. but you might be right about the down B. I'm not sure why he didn't do that, and he misses the parry. This is now a difficult situation, finds the parry. But Stratus defensive aerials. Down. He's got a big lead, and the clock is ticking. Only a minute left. Ooh. Up Finds the up five. smash and Stranded takes game one. Wow, he called out Isaiah dropping the shield in perfect timing. It looked like the shield just got ignored, but it was just a very, very well-timed up smash. Frame trapping, whatever escape option Isaiah did, you would have to look through the VOD frame by frame to figure out what happened there. And Stranded in a seven minute match outlasts Isaiah with incredible patience. This is... Uh, this feels like a form of Stranded that we haven't seen in a while. Yeah, very rare, very rare form here for Stranded. I mean, he's always a strong player, yeah. but it's rare to see him with this level of discipline. Exactly, I, mean, I think yeah. that's always been one of his weakest attributes. Yeah. And almost everything else, you know, in his tech skill, in his combos, he's so strong. But Isaiah switching to Kirby here, a counter pick we've seen from him against Yoshi's in the past. Yoshi's of a high caliber like Wizrobe falling to this Kirby, looking like they don't have an answer. And we're gonna have to see if Stranded can crack this nut or if Isaiah's Kirby is gonna be too much now. Yeah, Isaiah looked incredibly strong against Prince last year in the top eight. Yeah, Made that very too. quick work of him. Right. And so it was kind of an open question, you know, how good, just how good Isaiah is against Yoshi. Well, well you say very quick work. I do remember quite a lengthy Okay, set. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was fairly one sided, it but was not necessarily short. Yeah, but Stranded though. It's the first big opening of the match. Didn't find a, a confirm off of that up tilt, but so much damage on this Kirby now. And you know, all of a sudden, it's like this, uh, the onus is now on Isaiah to work his way in. His friend could just run away for the whole match and continue to play that. Well, they scrapping him, what a great parry. He finds a fantastic yeah. parry there and Isaiah is able to trap. came in with Isaiah a back air. Rather than a drill, which gave Stranded that opportunity to look at a tech chase. Look setup. at this! Finds another back air! And That's wisely, punish, yeah. yeah, doesn't overcommit. Right. Yeah, he knows when to back off. Against Kirby, that's so important. Stranded with some incredible parry so far this set. And it feels like maybe Isaiah is an opponent where Stranded just really yeah. wants to put on the absolute best play he can. I remember a previous SSC, he did take Alvin to game five in a really close set. And you can see what his opponents are, these top players. Stranded yeah. can really turn it on. Isaiah drills Stranded on the corner, calls out the tech in place directly with a forward smash, evening up the stock helmet. Still a lead for Stranded, who's going crazy far off stage. He's very lucky that he still had the invincibility there when Isaiah hit him. He, he overextended just a little bit. It's okay for Stranded right now. Stranded's willing to take some big risks. Does manage to get his double jump out there to escape the corner, escape that down air pressure on his shield. 
you can see just how fast Stranded is with those perfect lands on side platform. He runs off and nears him. Goes all the way up there for that forter. It's safe to go for. Oh, Isaiah making a tecker. That's never a good sign. So you see Stranded there, that he didn't immediately de or he didn't immediately deny control of the top platform, and Isaiah didn't immediately take it either. Kind of a different game than we saw in the same matchup in uh, Hammerheart Wizrub. Yeah, Isaiah finding that up tilt and immediately going into a nair. Could probably edge guard him here. Yeah, Stranded yeah. gives up his armor with that fair. Yeah, you're, you're right about that, Isaiah, not sticking to the top line as much because that dude, that is a huge error and Stranded with the egg, able to take that stock. No DI came up from Isaiah, they're not even into the stage wall. Yeah, it felt like he wasn't, you know, trying his hardest to hold on to that stock. Great catch there from Isaiah with the grab. Of course, grab a great answer to uh, Kirby's armor, but maybe not quite as good for Kirby because his throws oh, aren't strong. That's a meaty downer, Stranded gets the parry on the grab, but Isaiah just chases him down. He double jumps to top flat. Kirby grab is much faster than Yoshi grab, and he's able to get that opening. The armor is now breaking, but I think we're resetting back to a calm here. Stranded yeah, manages and this, to hold on to his stock. And this is where, as, I, as Isaiah, as Kirby, you need to show patience because it can be hard, even though Yoshi's at very high percent, to actually get a move that'll kill him. Yeah. And you can't let Yoshi corner you. Sometimes Yoshi can make an advantageous position happen without even hitting you. If he finds you in a bad position, but Isaiah catches Big, him with that yeah. fair. That should do it. Isaiah is doing a lot of uh, holding the side plat, not landing on top plat, landing on side platform and trying to kind of bait Stranded into going for top plat. Yeah, Jumping up with those like four dares and things like that. But look at this punish from Isaiah. He knew that he couldn't really extend that any further, so just cash it out with a grab. Stranded now at 70, 80 percent. Isaiah is so good at challenging this top platform with the fair. It really feels like a like a bear trap that Stranded just keeps stepping into. Yeah. And the jaws of that fair close around him, putting Isaiah up two stocks to one with 90 percent on Stranded. It's a very dangerous position to be for the Yoshi. Yoshi Definitely. does have the stage control here, but he accidentally grabs. Oh, he's just rolling. It's a little bit of panic from Stranded, but some input air is coming out. Back to Okay. Well, he parries it and gets the grab. The, the slowest parry grab ever seen in competitive play. Yeah, I don't know if that was uh, really intentional, but hey, we take oh, it okay. and he gets another yeah, grab. He just him. Get this edge guard. Oh, the egg beating Kirby Forder. Oh, oh, but the back air doesn't it. quite work, and he lets out a down smash by mistake as well. Isaiah able to control the top platform again. Yeah, th this Kirby is just so difficult. This is one of the hardest uh, matchups about top tiers, for sure. And Isaiah showing exactly why. But this is where Stranded taking the first game could come into play if this set turns into a counter pick war. The pressure is now on Isaiah to decide if he wants yeah, to stick with the Kirby. What does he want to use? Because we know Stranded has an incredibly strong Pikachu counter pick on deck. Well. We haven't seen a lot of Pikachu out of Stranded in quite a while. That's true. You, you don't I think, think he would probably pull it out? more likely that he would go Fox. Fox, interesting, maybe. But maybe. it's hard to say. I mean, like you said, Isaiah does have to pick first. Yeah, I've seen Stranded doing Pikachu matches on setups today. Uh, not to. I, not today, but yesterday. Okay. Yeah, like, wow. but maybe just warming up friends and that sort of thing. Yeah, sure yeah. character really intends to put in the bracket. It's in the last few years, uh, it's been very rare. Like we saw that eyes, that famous stranded versus Alvin set. He oh. refused to use top tiers. Used only uh, Yoshi and yeah, Fox. Clearly, Isaiah worried about something. It does not stick with the Kirby. Switching back to Pika, so we're going back into that same matchup we saw in game one. Yeah, we saw that matchup in game one, and both players in that first game played incredibly patient. We saw a game that went to uh, almost two minutes left. Yeah, we have a different story here so far. You gotta start to wonder if Stranded is kind of tapped and might be uh, just not playing with that same level of patience, or maybe Isaiah has just figured something out, a well, way to stop the, uh, the tricky double jump movement that Stranded was employing a lot in that first match to try to work his way in. Yeah, the thing about Stranded's playstyle is it does require incredibly accurate inputs. And we saw in that previous game, he was starting to make some mistakes, like those accidental grabs, accidental new trophies that were coming out. Great up tilt, beating out the, uh, the Pikachu Finds counter. the fair, but he can't shield drop through fast enough. Oh, and, and this is the perfect land. Yeah. That should have been a kill for sure. Right, and those little errors, they stack up so much. Yeah, and it's so easy to make a few small errors like that when you're making so many inputs per minute. 
playing a character like Yoshi, but if even a few of them are wrong in a critical moment, it could be the difference between winning and losing. I don't think he had a jump there, but he managed to make it back onto the stage, he was able to grab the ledge as he had, couldn't get into position to fight him. But just slowly building on the center of the forward is going to take it. That back air juke tries to fade to the ledge, yeah. shift his hurt box, but Isaiah able to chase him down. And even with the invincibility, is it going to be enough to get the kill? Isaiah trying to escape, gets oh my grabbed. Gosh, Shredded is crazy for that one. Tried to do egg into double jab, uh, and Isaiah DI'd out of it, and then he just finds that grab into the back row. Still down an entire stock here, though. Got a mountain to climb against this incredibly patient Pikachu player. Yeah, that's the thing. In game number one, Stranded took a bit of an early lead, and the onus was on Isaiah to approach. This is a very different story. That first game was so one-sided. Suddenly, the pressure is on Stranded to make something happen. That's a big terrifying. No, he misses the shield drop again. Yeah. Oh, but Isaiah maybe doing the same thing, or it could have been an intentional roll. Stranded caught a little bit of damage, but that's it. And Isaiah's got a punishment. He just waits so long for that up tilt. Yeah, you can tell Stranded assumed he would do something. Isaiah, sometimes the winning move is not to play. It just ignores Yoshi until his armor's gone and then goes for the kill. Oh, he finds that up tilt again. He's been calling out those falling approaches from Isaiah very well this game, uh, but just hasn't been getting substantial enough punishes to make it work. You see him still full stock behind. And that ups. Up the pressure, smash. and that should be it, yeah. Yeah. Stranded, able to find a downer. Yoshi downer, a very difficult move to tech. I'm not even sure mechanically why that is, but obviously Isaiah there wasn't able to get out of it. Got hit by the up tilt into up air from Stranded. Even stock count, but a difficult lead to overcome still. Yeah. Yoshi is, of course, able to make zero deaths like this happen, but with the way Isaiah's positioning himself, he's just not letting that be an option. Also, his percentage, 105, doesn't have access to all of the armor approaches that he would have access to at a lower percent. A lot of stuff is going to break it right now, and the back throw forward smash, taking that stock. So he's trying to come back with a fresh stock at 0%. This is the important percentage to play for Yoshi. If he lets Isaiah build up too much damage on this stock, then once again, it'll be really difficult uh, if he loses access to some of those armor options. Yeah, finds that. Ooh, great parry there to escape a pretty desperate looking situation from Stranded. And yeah, that's like I always say with these heavy characters like Falcon and Yoshi, it's almost like they have two health bars. You know, that first health bar where they have armor, and then once they're over something like 40%, 50%, uh, when they can no longer rely on their weight to avoid hits. So when you have a two stock to one lead like this, building up oh, percent is so important, yes, but Stranded yes. makes a mistake, yeah. accidentally back airs, and that's going to be the stock. Starting to look a little bit antsy in this play here. You've got to wonder what's going through his head right now. Uh, the patience from game number one. And I, I brought up earlier uh, that set from all those years ago, the very patient Falcon versus Jigglypuff set, Stranded Vongera. Uh, Stranded in that set was doing so well, and then uh, it, it seemed like he ran out of out of steam and just started, you know, making these uh, approaches and trying to make something happen. Uh, eventually just, you know, it seems to grow tired of the, the patient game. Stranded is mashing that, by the way. Yeah. He's mashing the A button fast enough to scroll all the way through the stock counts. Yeah. That's some incredibly quick mashing. He was showing that off to me yesterday, too, yeah. So Isaiah locking in the Pikachu. And Stranded Ooh. thinking about his character, teasing the Falcon, teasing but going back Falcon, to the Yoshi. Yeah. We really don't see the Falcon anymore, do we? Yeah, Stranded's famous Falcon. He used to be so strong with it, that incredibly quick Falcon. But uh, it's been years, I think, since he pulled that out in tournament. And it's we're not going to see it today. Somebody either. else really does it like it. That's true. We'll see if the stranded Yoshi is able to make it work here, going into game four against Isaiah. Oh, Isaiah missing that up smash. That seems to be that same input error that we saw a few times from Hammerheart in the previous game. Yeah. Up smash instead of up tilt. Quite strong DI coming out from Isaiah there, but just not enough. The four tilt Ooh, the pushing parry. so far away. <laughs> stranded tried to parry. Uh, Isaiah didn't attack, and he ended up stuck rolling. Oh no, he's got no jump and that's going to be it. Isaiah just continuing to pressure Stranded in the corner, had him locked onto that platform, figured out the slide off was going to happen and just chased him down. Yeah, much, much more uh, fast-paced game here than we oh. saw in game number one. 
He at waited this point. and he up tilted the shield jump. So smart here from Isaiah. The spacing, this edge guard. Yeah, it comes through pretty easily. And is there anything Stranded can do here? Finds the fair. Started. Can he get the perfect line? Finally. Lands it this time. The perfect first, land in the, the up first smash. One the set that's come through for him. Which is a great sign. Yeah. Stranded nope. maybe finding his groove back Not in this game. Not a lot of DI from Isaiah. What this is neutral B is just getting some free damage off of that. Okay. Well, that parry. <laughs> These oh, guys fighting back and forth. Yeah, he does the shield drop armor there, just trying to box his way through that scrub with Isaiah. And it is okay for now, but Isaiah pressuring on the platform. Catches him with the fair. No job. Wait, no, he, he found it. Wow. He did land on the very edge of that platform. I thought he meant past it. That's crazy. Yeah, Isaiah was, was ready so for close. it, though. And Isaiah punishing him immediately for that missed input. Oh, Catches again. him. No jump. no jump this time. Stranded just sets Isaiah down his controller going and to concedes pull it your favorite. Isaiah taking it. An incredible 3-1. Yes. Massive adjustment from Isaiah there. He really changed the tempo of the game. He started off so patient. Stranded was able to match it. Uh, and, you know, by the end of that, they just, they were just going towards each other so much more. Uh, and Isaiah was winning those situations. Unfortunately, stranded a, a few big errors in that set. Very costly for him. A great play nonetheless, taking that game one.